Happy Tuesday. It's our last day in our book. And we are going to do our memory verse. For as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. And to them who believed on his name. Pretty close. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Even to them that believe on his name. We are going to sing our song for today. We are nearing home. We thought this green pasture reminded us a little bit of heaven. Yeah. Just over the mountains in the promised land lies a holy city built by God's own hand. As our weary footsteps in the mountains press, we can view our homeland of eternal rest. We are near. And that is the most exciting thing on earth to us. And we are nearing the end of the book. We are. And then this is the last chapter. And it's called A Dream of Heaven. John was one of Jesus' helpers. He was old now and living on an island, which might sound nice, except it was a prison. The leaders put him there to stop him from talking about Jesus, but I'm sure you don't think a little thing like being in a cell in a prison on an island in the middle of an ocean could stop God's plan, do you? One morning, Jesus appeared right there in John's cell. Jesus' eyes were bright, shining like the sun. I am going to show you a secret, John, Jesus said, about when I come back. His voice was like the sound of rushing waters. Hmm. Write down what you see so God's children can read it and wait with happy excitement. Then Jesus gave John a beautiful dream. Except John was wide awake and what he saw was real and one day it would all come true. I see a throne and on the throne is a king and the king is Jesus. All around the throne people are bowing down. They are giving him their treasures. They are loud cheers and clapping, clapping and bright laughter like a thousand waterfalls and everyone bursts out singing a new song. This is our king, the lamb who died so we don't have to, our rescuer. All honor and glory forever and ever and every creature everywhere in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea joins in and then from all around a wide, immense, beautiful, silence and I see Satan God's horrible enemy thrown down defeated 
I see a sparkling city shimmering in the sky, glittering, glowing, coming down from heaven and from the sky. Heaven is coming down to earth. God's city is beautiful, walls of topaz, jasper, sapphire, wide streets paved with gold, gleaming pearl gates that are never locked shut. Where is the sun? Where is the moon? They aren't needed anymore. God is all the light people need. No more darkness, no more night. And the king says, look, God and his children are together again. No more running away or hiding. No more crying or being lonely or afraid. No more being sick or dying because all those things are gone. Yes, they're gone forever. Everything sad has come untrue. And see, I have wiped away every tear from every eye. And then a deep, beautiful voice that sounded like thunder in the sky says, Look, I am making everything new. It was hard to squeeze all John saw into words and fit it onto a page and cram it into a book. All the words on all the pages of all the books in all the world would never be enough. I am the beginning, Jesus said, and the ending. One day, John knew heaven would come down and mend God's broken world and make it our true, perfect home once again. And he knew in some mysterious way that would be hard to explain. That everything was going to be more wonderful for once having been so sad. And he knew then that the ending of the story was going to be so great it would make all the sadness and tears and everything seem like just a shadow that is chased away by the morning sun. I am on my way, said Jesus. I'll be there soon. John came to the end of his book, but he didn't write the end because of course, that's how stories finish. And this one's not over yet. So instead he wrote, come quickly, Jesus, which perhaps is really just another way of saying to be continued. John 1, 12 and 13 says something like this. For anyone who says yes to Jesus, for anyone who believes what Jesus said, for anyone who will just reach out to take it, then God will give them this wonderful gift to be born into a whole new life, to be who they really are, who God always made them to be, their own true selves, God's dear child. Because you see the most wonderful thing about this story is it's your story too. It's your story too. You know, our memory verse is an important thing says, whoever believes in Jesus, God gives the power to become his sons and daughters. We can't do that on our own. We can't be good enough to go to heaven. And so God gives us the power to overcome sin, to, Wash to become, us clean. and he washes us clean and he forgives us for our sins. And with our failures, he teaches us how to become his children. And so to do that, it's pretty simple. We just give him the control of our lives and he gives us eternal life. See, sin is a state of the heart. It's where your heart is. It says where your heart is, there your treasure will be too. And when we give our heart to Jesus and we say, Jesus, I wanna be kind. I want to live like you. I want to be a part of your family. I want to be your child then our attention is different. It's like what happened to Saul. When he saw who Jesus really was, he was Paul. He went from proud to humble. He went, there was a change in him that happened. And Jesus makes that change in us. All we have to do is say, I believe you, Jesus, and I want that in my life. I want you to work over my heart. And he does. And. The tree of life is promised to those who keep God's commandments. We can't keep them on our own, but God will give us the power to do that. Bit by bit, he writes his law on our heart, and you just have to ask him for that. Well, God so. knows how we work, too. And when we, he wrote, he wrote these 
different ways of being for us to understand how we would be most happy. It's the it's a happy path and it's a happy path. It's you know, it's not about being controlled or nope. that sort of thing. It's about how to be happy. Well, this has been a fun journey, guys. And I want you to know that we love you here on Earth. We sure do. And we are looking forward to that east sky splitting open and Jesus coming in a cloud. And I want all of you to be there. Yeah. So let's pray and then we're going to talk a little bit. Father in heaven, please take our hearts. I want each person who watches this thing today to be in heaven. And I want a checklist of everyone who watched who makes it. Father, that would be beautiful. Thank you for giving us good life. And it was still a beautiful world, even though so much is going so wrong in it. We know that you are our creator, the lover of beauty, and the lover of beauty in us. So please take away all the darkness and all the yucky stuff out of our hearts. And turn us into your children, we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So what's next? Well, I don't know. Um, it's summer. Do you guys still want stories? School's going to be ending soon. You were talking about maybe doing a storybook. I thought about doing a continuing story, and I think what we'll do is I think that we'll have Pete reach out to folks and see what their desires are, or you can reach out to us and let us know. But I think what we will, we'll reach out between, I know it's Tuesday for you, but it's really Sabbath for us. So we'll reach out and we will see what the desire of everybody is. We'll, we want to keep doing something if that's what everybody wants. But if you're busy and you have other things that you want to focus on. Or get away from your TVs and your phones and get outside. Then we want to support that too. So, um, here's the deal. There won't be anything Wednesday. But, and, and we might start it next week if we're going to do something else. So, um, but we need you guys to text us or call us or email us or something and let us know if that's something you would want. If you want it, we want it. We will do it for you. Yep. But if we don't hear much from you. We're going to know that we had a good ride. We had a good time, and we'll get busy doing something else. And we can't wait to see you soon. Yeah. Hoping to see most all of you face to face. Yeah. Love you guys. Love you. Bye.